The Living Tribunal can outpower any deck in Marvel Snap, especially with the help of these new move cards. The Living Tribunal splits your total power evenly among all locations, and to get that power, we build up a Giant Human Torch or Dagger. There's Aranya, Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Madame Web, and Doctor Strange to move those cards around. Hercules also moves those cards around, and you don't care where the final placement is because of Living Tribunal spreading that power. And we bounce a lot of those cards with Falcon and Beast. No deck of mine is complete without Shang-Chi. Okay, first up we have Hesky. They get one of my lower cost cards that is fine. Well, maybe not. This might be a little bit of a mirror match. But we know they did not get our Hercules. I will get Aranya left. It is kind of important to manage your board. There is nothing to do, so Hercules next turn. They are going with some Athena version. Sinister London on the right is interesting because I'm not sure if I want to play Hercules there or not, and where I play this Vulture or Dagger. I will still go Hercules in Sinister London. I might have priority, I might not. So they might be able to take advantage of the Hercules. That's the risk with this pseudo mirror match. I was thinking to go with Vulture, but maybe I go with Dagger instead? So I do have priority. I could go Aranya into Dagger here, into Hercules, and then do another Ghost Spider. This is so risky. But I do have Falcon if I get jammed up with Ghost Spider. So let's see. We are going to get a large dagger. I do have Sean. So we have used both Hercules triggers. Madame Web would be nice. Okay, get the dagger over there. Oh, that is one large dagger. So that's what I mean by getting jammed up. Okay, so... Yeah, they're getting a little jammed up too, though. Alrighty. Now, Doctor Strange, unfortunately... Well... I could Doctor Strange middle. Yes. If I Doctor Strange middle and then play Falcon here, I don't have priority though. I don't have priority. So do I Doctor Strange here just for extra power and then pull these three cards back? I'll go down this line. I still have this Sean. But there will be nothing to Sean. The Sorcerer Supreme. So this really comes back, and that's this is why I blocked the left lane, by the way. I don't know if I explained that. Because I wanted these two Hercules bounces. So if I can draw into What's his face? That would be fantastic, Living Tribunal, what this deck is about. <laughs> I have priority. So do I do a Vulture? If I go here and here, that doesn't block. That does not block it. I'm gonna roll the die because I don't know what they're doing. Uh, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Get down as much power? Here, here. And here?
Okay, let's let's see what happens. We bounce it once. Good, we got two bounces. So let's just see if that is enough. Okay, one dagger, two dagger. Pull that back, okay. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Uh, we, we got it. I think I explained everything at least after the fact. I stayed in because it was only going to be for two cubes. Did we get lucky with the vulture? We did get kind of lucky with the vulture. It was a 50-50 whether it was going to go middle or left because Vulture gets plus six. We only won this lane by five. So they had a decent plan. Thankfully, we were able to take both Hercules triggers. They never got to use our Hercules. And just for two cubes, it was worth the gamble for me. And I was able to pull it out. Alrighty, next up we have Blazin' Bad. New York is a fantastic location. We have all of our small cards. They are an Erishem deck, so we will snap back. I will play Aranya Middle. Give myself some flexibility with New York. They might be a turn one Loki. That is the snap we are seeing. We are kind of a combo deck, though. So we shall see if they are able to do what they need to do. We will get Iron Fist down. We will activate Oranya. We will play Human Torch here. That moves them middle and it moves them back. And I can Falcon if this location is trash. Okay, they are planning to move Dagger into New York on the last turn. Move that back. Now this Falcon is going to fill my hand. But I tell you what, I can get the White Hot Room bonus. So play it this way, because I get one, two, three, four, five cards in my hand. One, two, three, four. Four cards in my hand. So I'm at six. I won't deny myself a draw. So that is what we are doing. They have two cards in their hand. A Dakin, okay. Let's hope they don't have a Killmonger. There is Living Tribunal. Do I hold? No, I need to play a card because they might move one of theirs and I need to not deny myself a draw. Let's go Iron Fist. Oh, I have so much energy. Uh, yeah, let's go Iron Fist. Whew. <laughs> Whew. Whew. <laughs> All right, there is the Eliath out of the way. So what I can do now is play Human Torch. That goes here. I can play Doctor Strange. That goes here. I can play Beast. And then I need to get cards out of my hand. So I think I like this. They move the dagger now. Ooh, this is, well, I do get the Human Torch trigger. I am the so let's see if I have priority. So I won't be able to pick up Torch. So if they have a Sean, this stinks. But they also, okay, so this is where expectation comes into play most players are greedy they have priority so you you would shun this lane wait a second 
Because of the move, no. Or they move first? You shone this lane because I'm going to move the Human Torch here because I am a greedy player. I am actually not a greedy player. So what I am going to do is play Doctor Strange Middle. That is the unexpected play. Human Torch is large. <laughs> so that is what we are going to do. Moving for me is dangerous. That moves middle. And I think I just hold firm. And we can just play these. Uh, wait a second. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This here, this here, this here, and this here. Did I get that order right? <laughs> okay, so yes, we, we were just going to absolutely explode this human torch. I think that says 96. What's that times two? A lot. Okay, round two against an Arisham deck. We have Nexus on the board. We have Madame Webb. So I will play Human Torch in that case first. I will play Madame Webb on turn two. I will move Human Torch. Then on turn three, I will play Falcon. Pull back up the Human Torch. On turn four, I can play down Dagger after that. In addition to other cards that I draw into. So this... This game plan is shaping up pretty nicely. I drew both of my bounce cards. That is fantastic. So there is the Madame Web. That stinks. <laughs> we will go... Human Torch... into Falcon... into Iron Fist over here. I'm not really thinking through these moves. I'm just going based off of feel. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable using this deck. I would love to be able to beast my this lane, I think. But also, I won't be able to get... Well, I will now with Doctor Strange. So I played... I played Iron Fist, so I think it's Dagger, uh, da, 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 and then it's playing it by ear. Okay, so Dagger doesn't get any power, unfortunately. Why are they loading up on that lane? Are they up to some shenanigans? Get down Aranya. I can save Human Torch for the last turn. Or maybe I don't. Because I can move Dagger here. And play Doctor Strange middle. And we'll hold on to Aranya for now. Okay, so they're not going to change Nexus. That was what I was afraid of, the location change. So that's not going to happen, because I win the vault. So, again, this is going with the unexpected. So if I go dagger here... Go Spider here. No, because that highlights the Doctor Strange. This is why you hold cards. You see Doctor Strange is being highlighted. So you don't make dumb mistakes. Okay, so I guess I just go Dagger over here. Activate Aranya. Go Human Torch. Go Spider. 
And then the beast is just more than three anyway. So Eliath beats me. Does Eliath beat me? No. Is this enough? I think it is enough. It is definitely enough. <laughs> so we took down an Arishem player. They had a decent game plan, but it was not decent enough. So we beat them on turn one Loki. Loki is kind of trash into this deck because there's so many pieces that you need to actually get your cards to be good. And Loki just doesn't have the time, especially losing the card draw. And even with this play, you see how we were able to circumvent, I think, whatever tech card they wanted to play, quite frankly. Even, would Shang-Chi have beat us? Maybe? Because I'm at two... A 26 power? I don't even think a Shang-Chi beats us. So I don't think there's anything they could play here that beats us. Even Eliath, we were going to outpower that with just the dagger and the Ghost Spider, I'm pretty sure. So this deck can really output a lot of power. And you saw it in the previous game against the turn one Loki Arishem, and you see it again here. Okay, next up, we are against Mute. Does that mean they cannot speak, or does that mean they have us muted? Nobody will know. Get down Madame Webb. They are a normal deck, eight cards on turn one. We will get down Hercules right. Okay, all the energy you could ever want this game. I do need a move card. We indeed have the move card. So we get Hercules down now. Uh, I need to play Human Torch now. Because I can yank it with Ghost Spider afterwards. We are going up against Hela. Okay, please don't be a bad location. It is not. So we will move into the Hercules lane. That will bounce. We will pull it back with Ghost Spider. And then we will Falcon those all up. Perfect. Went to the correct lane. And now we are really sitting pretty. We are going to need to draw into Shang-Chi or... What's-his-face? Living Tribunal. There is another Super Flow. We have Beast. So I think what we do here is we go Iron Fist... into Human Torch. That moves it mid? Yes, that's what I want to do. Okay. Because I want to beast them back into my hand. Right now, as of this recording, there is a bug with Ghost Spider where if you bounce her, her effect is useless. So, I do not want to bounce her. So, I will play Human Torch into Beast. And I will just show off the bug just to show that Ghost Spider should move Beast and she will not. This also just gets stats on the board. So, we have picked up our large Human Torch. You see, Ghost Spider did not move Beast. Giganto. I think I load up left. 
so I will go Falcon into Iron Fist into Human Torch into Sean, but I also have extra energy to get Aranya down, so we will do that. I will get, I guess, her down. Oh no, because I'm moving Falcon for just more points. So move Falcon. Get Aranya down here. Iron Fist and the Human Torch into Sean. So let us see this magic at work. We are the future. I'm pretty sure this is good because that is one huge human torch. This is why Shang-Chi is in the deck, despite it being a living tribunal deck. One, Shang-Chi is totally unexpected. And two, he can just outright win lanes. And you don't need much power in that lane because he himself was worth 30 points of power. I'm sure I'll put an editor's note. He's worth a ton of power. And Human Torch, of course, is going to solo his lane. And you just clean up. Okay, round three against a Hella deck. Kamertage is nice for... We will stay in this. I'm, I'm sick of this matchup. <laughs> I'm recording videos. I want to... be able to show different matchups so I will skip again I do have Hercules so I guess that's what I'm getting down now human torch would be fantastic especially with living tribunal okay I think I play it here I think this is where I play it because if I get if I draw into Iron Fist now that gets so many moves for Human Torch bang bang it bounces back and then I Falcon ugh 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 this is going to be D disgusting. Hmm. They don't stand a shot. Look at all of these moves. Comertage just gasoline on this flame. Get it? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, Rania is one turn too late. So what we are going to do is the same thing. They do not have Sean, so I am playing super greedy. And we will pull the ghost, the human torch with the ghost spider. I could do dagger, the dagger line, but uh, let's get this human torch as large as humanly possible. So much power. 64, 128, and uh, you work because you did not get bounced, so you only work your first time. And now it is time to smear all of that power across the board. GG's. Better luck next time. Sayonara. 92 in every lane. Fantastic showcase of what this deck can do. Of course, I did get juiced with Comratage. This is when Location RNG just turbocharges your deck. I also had good draw luck. I will not dismiss that. But when this deck comes together, man... It is a bazooka, a rocket launcher. It is unstoppable. And I definitely play greedy because I know the deck 
that my opponent is running has no tech cards in 99% of the time. Otherwise, I may have held off so I could, or maybe held off on the Falcon until later just because I was going to juice my cards so much, or maybe tried the dagger line to spread out my power in case they wanted to uh, use tech in one lane, but they wouldn't have enough tech in the other lane. But against this matchup, yeah, just GG, good night. I will dig up some kind of bonus clip to put at the end of this video. Nothing super weird happened, but there might be something I can find. Thank you for making it this far into the video. I appreciate it. And thank you to all of my members of the channel. Your support is truly appreciated. This deck, Oranya doesn't seem like she is the super make or break card in this deck, but let me tell you, she does really add so much to this deck because getting her down, you can weave in her move with other move cards and whenever you want. So sometimes it's early, sometimes it'll be late. And if she gets taken away, it's not a super big loss because you still have other move cards and you're spreading that power out with Living Tribunal. So what she does is provide a different avenue for you to take if you don't have Madame Webb or Hercules or one of your bounce cards to do more triggers. And she just allows you to smooth out some of the rough edges of this deck. Let me know what you think. I always like hearing from everybody. Whether you have success, whether you have failure, I like to hear it all. I have not drawn into... Ah, Hella. Okay, it is not a toxic deck. <laughs> I suppose I will not draw into any of my cards. Three in deck. And two of those are the cards I need. Sean, Iron Fist, and Ghost Spider is the most I could do. And yeah, clearly they didn't draw well. Alrighty, next up we are against Zero Dollars Spent. We have Falcon instead. So, Monster gets in the way of Doctor Strange. <laughs> Ay, that is unfortunate. It's turn three. I think I just get down the Falcon for stats and to keep my hand a little free because I'm just gonna move this monster, unfortunately. I need another move card other than Doctor Strange. The there is the Killmonger out of the way. So I am free to play Human Torch now. Game. But again, I need something to actually move I him. Definitely need to change my underwear. Since the monster gets in the way, this, this deck is, as you can see, uh, susceptible to location disruption. All move decks are. So you do have to deal with that a little bit. Let's get the Human Torch to Ghost Spider to an early beast. I will have three cards in my hand. There is the large target we were looking for, the Venom coming down. The reason I am not snapping, even though I have Sean, is one, I need that Deadpool to get to 16 power. So that's that's step one. I need to change my underwear. And I don't know if I don't know if it will. Move that over. Get these both back in our hand. I think Iron Fist is our best pull. Every lane is Shang-Chi-able. 